Hi family, welcome to Pistis of YouTube channel. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. This channel was divinely inspired by the Holy Spirit to build the faith of men. So as you are watching this video, make sure that you share the link, you like the video, and then you click on the notification button so you can get notified whenever we are uploading any new video. Thank you so much for joining. We love and Let celebrate. Let me share with you very briefly how the spirit of wisdom works. This is the core of what I'm teaching tonight. Most people are aware. We've taught several teachings on the Holy Spirit and we've taught on wisdom. You can make reference to my teaching, what wisdom is this? But the operation, how it works, is where I think that most people have not been able to access it. Mm. How is the spirit of wisdom? How does it operate? How do I activate the spirit of wisdom so that it produces for me? Ready? Let's finish up the scripture. James chapter 1 and verse 5. James chapter 1 verse 5. There is wisdom in the name of Jesus there is wisdom in the name of Jesus if if any one of you lack results which is a product of lack of wisdom what's the first thing let him ask you have not because you ask not not because God is unable to give it let him ask let him ask let him pray let him raise up a petition from a desperate heart that when I begin to pray my prayer not only brings the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom but also activates its operation if prayer can bring wisdom then prayer can make it work too are we together now yes let him pray i can know a man functioning under the influence of the spirit of god by the results that come from his prayer not just his prayer i need to see the results that come from your prayer the reason why many ministries have poor prayer meetings is because over time people have concluded that prayer does not work they cannot see the results from it do you know that praying in the spirit captures something the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god that the princes of this world did not know it says for if they had known this they would not crucify the lord of glory there was something paul was doing while he was praying and praying in the spirit that began to grant him access prayer activates the operation of the spirit of wisdom not just bringing the anointing in your life the functionality the operation of the spirit of wisdom is released as you pray while they prayed they didn't know what to do how do we advance the gospel across this territory they prayed and they fasted and the spirit of wisdom came separate me paul and barnabas this is a strategy they stood before jericho listen when you know that the spirit of wisdom is with you you will never fear when you see challenges all you need to know is to wait till the answer come many of us never wait we go ahead and say let the answer follow me and we call it faith and it damages us into pieces may never live to have a second chance when joshua got before jericho the bible says the fence of jericho could host five chariots fortified tooth and nail to a point that a prostitute could comfortably live in the fence the fence of jericho was like cgc how do you penetrate the place do you shoot is it an arrow is it a gun do you jump the spirit of wisdom he said don't worry they circumcised themselves and set their heart apart and an angel just came 
and revealed a strategy do this do that and the lord spoke the spirit of wisdom go around the city seven times and on the seventh day go around seven times the spirit of wisdom many of the things that we call prophecy is prophecy yes but what was uttered is the wisdom of god go and bath seven times go and bath seven times it is the solution not to all problems to your problem meaning someone else will do it not directed by god and not get any solution you see that the spirit of wisdom is god's customized solution for your challenges it's not generic is personal that's why i said it is not it is not the wisdom of the world the wisdom of the world is is universal in application like you say if someone is hungry eat god can tell you if you are hungry dance now that does not make sense but that is his solution for you go and bath seven times and the guy felt insulted Habba. I'm a captain of the Syrian army and he went to bath the seventh time the Bible says his skin became fresh you see let me tell you this is the mystery behind people doing what does not make sense and still getting results they are not making sense is that they are doing it as directed the spirit of wisdom came whatever he tells you to do do it this is the fountain of wisdom Mary knew she did they would have said ah, ah Jesus look 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 the the person who sells this wine is here he can tell you Jews were not foolish people they knew how to crush wine for kings whatever he tells you do notice that no single miracle of Jesus was repeated twice the results were repeated many times but the manifestation of wisdom brought a unique solution for every issue at a certain time he spat on the ground and put in someone's eyes at a certain time he did something else look at him but we keep repeating the same thing and we just faith comes by hearing hearing what the wisdom of god when his wisdom comes to you then you get up and do what he told you to do then your life becomes a wonder lord where are we going to get the venue for this meeting i saw in my visions overflow lord i can active your venue. i can use my brain to look at several venues which venue in zaria will contain the crowds you are showing me just keep praying cgc the spirit of wisdom see that as at the time the lord spoke the building had not even been expanded this when the spirit of wisdom speaks don't doubt you can walk on water and every other person who is walking sings except you because the spirit of wisdom is the dimension of the holy spirit that will ensure that what you see this is what makes the life of certain people look miraculous you are doing the same thing but they come and do it and get strange results because they don't do it as desired they wait faith waits until wisdom speaks you don't just act carelessly just because you know. No. Wisdom is manifested in prayer. When we pray, the spirit of wisdom begins to speak. Learn this. Most of us, we are so distracted in our prayer that we do not hear the communications of the spirit of wisdom. Lord, what is the way out to this predicament and challenge in my life? And the Lord says, pray. And we pray after five minutes we say god you are not speaking please good night and we just we cheat ourselves there you don't pray as long as you want you pray till the answer comes it's not the issue of 10 minutes or one hour it is when it comes there is an object to your prayer and you begin to pray when 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 cgc became full and the overflows became full it was obvious that when there was a program here there was no other venue that could take us lord what is going to be the way out of this when you know this you know that there's nothing called impossible impossible is the name given to the state before the arrival of the wisdom of god when the wisdom of god comes it will turn a mountain i tell you into a level plain ground is god speaking to you hmm. 
and all of a sudden I was praying one time and the Lord said because of this every time Friday night is not available Sunday night will be available as simple as it is that ended the issue of trying to look for all of these things Lord the overflows are full now to the roadside what do we do next by his wisdom God was able to prefer solution and we're able to host people overflow three is bigger than overflow one two and three and I mean overflow one and two together the wisdom of God you see you never see how it would have happened until wisdom creates the way then you look and say ah, why didn't I think about it because your small brain cannot think about it my brother you need the wisdom of God Joseph after he finished interpreting the dream then the spirit of wisdom came hear the spirit of wisdom speaking let Pharaoh find a man who is discreet and wise and appoint him over this and that when there was problem and the people were arguing and it was almost killing Moses Moses could not do his work because there were so many people and God told him Mr. Man you are going to kill yourself let the spirit of wisdom guide you set men thousands and hundreds and fifties and then appoint elders to take care of them then you just play supervisory roles ah, and Moses found rest he would have died and said it's the will of God how many pastors die because they love God but there is no manifestation of the spirit of wisdom to guide the affairs by the grace of God one of the principles that help in my being efficient in ministry is the fact that by his wisdom we have created a robust leadership structure that allows me to focus on the ministry of word and prayer I don't have to come here in the afternoon to check to say ah I hope these people did their duty through wisdom a house is built is God speaking to us everybody say prayer, prayer. shout it prayer that means if the devil attacks your prayer life, what is he attacking? He's attacking the arrival of a scriptural solution that brings testimonies for you. When you set yourself apart to pray and the devil said it does not matter, among other things, he's robbing you of access to the wisdom of God. Say, I will pray. Shout it. Say, I will pray. Men who pray access the wisdom of God they come up from their prayer life with very strange solutions very very strange solutions sometimes solutions that don't make sense do not do not downplay on a leader that knows how to get wisdom through prayer when you say we have come to our wit's end then you see another dimension of grace and wisdom number two how is wisdom activated wisdom is activated through meditation meditation noisy people sorry for you this is where the devil cheats us we live in a noisy society if you are not making noise your phone is making noise if your phone is not making noise the television is making noise if the television is not making noise the well wishers around your house are making noise our lives are full of noise that cheats us there is a dimension of wisdom that only silence can bring meditation great leaders meditate you sit down thank you there's got to be a way out thank you holy spirit and you sit quietly do you know sometimes i do this from morning till night meditating like a fool sometimes i just kneel down in front of my chair and put my head down i'm waiting waiting and the answer will never come till sometimes late in the night the spirit of wisdom comes majestically doesn't come in a rush and foolishly and carelessly if you don't have patience forget about it because you will not come sometimes you finish all of those things you are praying in the night you just wake up to stretch a little and fire falls from heaven and you sit down this is it this is it It will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. It will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Is the wisdom of God working in your life? 
oh i fell down the other day when you said receive wisdom do you meditate no sir then the spirit of wisdom may be there but you're not aligning sufficiently that's why many men of god don't have messages to preach because they write a list of messages and preach one by one and they finish the 35th one and the year is not even up to half the year is not halfway gone and you wonder what do i do inspiration comes in the place of meditation never forget what does it mean to meditate to ponder ponder not just on anything to ponder on truth ponder on the word of god not just to mutter but to ponder to think it's called imagination it's not like imagination it is called imagination the creation of images by the spirit ah. genesis 11 before nimrod began to build he called the people and they began to meditate meditation is not just sitting down under a tree that's a wonderful um, um what they call it a wonderful way of stimulating meditation but meditation is where your mind is called to a point where it is stimulated to begin to create creativity is a product of meditation let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom works the spirit of wisdom is a creative spirit is the first dimension of the holy spirit we see in genesis chapter one creation the spirit of wisdom creates it creates solutions see what i'm teaching you is 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 a jackpot to your success in life if you understand it creation the solution to every problem you seek already exists in christ but there is a system of transporting it from the realm of the spirit it is called creation it is called the power of imagination where you give the holy spirit your mind like a woman's womb and you allow him to brood upon it that's what happens in meditation you offer like a wife gives her womb over to her husband to be implanted with a seed that's what happens many of us are not creators creation is not just by speaking it is out of the abundance of the heart when that incubation has happened then your speaking is among the process that makes it manifest not many people will teach you this thing i'm teaching you the spirit of wisdom will make your life a wonder if you know how it works watch jesus this woman was caught in adultery the very act of it this is a kind of question where both yes and no will chain you and jesus kept quiet and was writing the spirit of wisdom immediately the spirit of wisdom landed then he spoke he who does not have sin should cast the first stone and then the bible says his speech affected the oldest first you see you see how powerful wisdom is because the youngest can drop it and the oldest will say are you, are you stupid pick that stone then he started with the oldest if the oldest has dropped the stone what do you do as the youngest the miracle is not in dropping the stone is who dropped it first the oldest dropped it down to the last person woman where are your accusers go neither do i condemn you this is the spirit of wisdom it is the spirit of wisdom that suggested the strategy for the salvation of men mm. that instead of everybody dying let's make a caricature out of satan it's called the hidden wisdom let one man come and let the whole world enter in him then let him die so that one man came and satan kept looking for him at a point the holy ghost restrained his hand and satan began to prevail and satan manipulated men to kill jesus and he ran to hell he said demons did you watch what happened i can't believe it i killed jesus and to his shock he saw jesus in hell and he said no this is a joke you can't be in hell say yes i'm here because when you kill sinners they go to hell and so i died sin and here i am in hell give me the keys <sighs> give me the keys give me the keys give me the keys 
and when the keys were given to him he dislodged principalities and powers made a public show of them and then he not only resurrected he resurrected with many who had died they were in the streets of jerusalem everybody saw him and he said guys this is it you will um you will go to heaven but i have to be the firstborn among the resurrected so let me go to heaven quickly i'll come back and then you guys will go and he went to heaven poured his blood according to hebrews in the tabernacle became the high priest and then he returned the guys went and he went to the disciples all hail and back all power in heaven he disarmed satan not through power through wisdom are we together listen let me teach you something i walk in the anointing many results are not dependent on power force wisdom is really what brings dominion because the realm of the spirit is a legal realm you engage through knowledge not just by trying to force things it's the ministry of the angels to do that they are the enforcers of the word of god they confirm the word of the servant but wisdom is solution that's why sometimes you see me ministering to people and you see me doing stupid things i can hold somebody's hand and the holy spirit can say let that person shout jesus and the person just shout jesus and then the person is falling and you are watching me too i'm watching i'm as shocked as you we're all watching the wisdom of the spirit you will now get the formula and run to one small meeting and hold somebody's hand and tell the person to shout jesus and the person shouts and looks at you say i've done it say do it again because it was just copying this is one of the big mistake of we young ministers we copy acts without the spirit that brought them are we together yes meditation this is where many of us have missed it that you sit before the lord what's that song brooding over every darkness you are called listen light to shine from dark how can light come out of darkness that's what the bible said he said god who has commanded light to come out of darkness that means the answer is right there with you in your chaos the light the raw material sit down in that situation and meditate and let creation begin to happen when you plant corn the ugliness of the soil and it is still where the new shoot comes out of it's a principle he's brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine in darkness you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness so in the midst of that financial hardship sit down there that's when creation happens you're not going to run away from the challenge and get a solution somewhere sit in it by the rivers of babylon in the midst of the captivity i sat down there and a vision was open to me we run away from challenges the miracle is right there sit down there's got to be a way lord my wife you no know, i prayed on there's got to be a way and all of a sudden you allow him to impregnate your mind ha. brothers and sisters i can tell you this your life will be a wonder first to you if you practice this it will be as if you are holding a charm or a genie somewhere that you are winding many of us don't sit down jobless people don't sit down to allow creation happen they just loiter around sir can you give me a job and god is saying i want to speak to you no oh god i'm, I'm i mean I'm, I'm i want to marry they said I, I can't marry because i don't have a job me i want to and god says, sit down now if we can take half the time we spend loitering around to sit down not worrying just find the back of one tree in the night and sit down when other people are snoring their destinies you sit quietly there's got to be a way to my life lord everything is not working nine prayer requests since last year nine of them not answered you are not a liar jesus 
speak to me and you are just playing you know i told i get who did i give an assignment was it us or school of ministry students no sometimes i don't know the difference but do it still do it go and play worship you don't just sit down and beds are just making noise worship doesn't distract you it steals your spirit and then you sit down sometimes for hours the flesh will never allow you sit down this flesh you see once you sit down you just start thinking ah but that lady is really beautiful you see don't stop still sit down there okay, but my father do you know to be honest do you know that i didn't have a good upbringing don't worry this is the flesh trying to distract something a time will come your flesh will be frustrated it will give up it's one of the benefits of fasting the flesh is empowered by the health of your body it takes advantage of food so when when food is minimal it it alters the interruption of the flesh yes sir it does ultimately leading to boosting your faith but that's how it works and you sit down lord there has to be a way and the lord sits down and says but you know you have hundred thousand and then a scripture just opens up and now this is god the spirit of wisdom coming to you now and looks at it and says except a corn falls in the ground and the lord can speak to you and say that hundred thousand that is your last money i'm not saying do it go and sow it you are not doing donation just thinking about it and you carry yourself as if you are going to go and die and sow it somewhere the moment you do that the same spirit that spoke to you now goes to your uncle who doesn't like you and say remember i've been telling you you will bless somebody it's time now it's janet it's this person and then your uncle calls you wisdom justified by her children and you are surprised and god says keep trusting me like this for your life and then you sit down and you find out let me tell you how god forces the spirit of wisdom to work in you sometimes he will close the door of any physical helper in your life pain is a very good way of activating wisdom some of us until you go through certain levels of pain wisdom will never work in your life it's not all pain that is demonic hear what i'm telling you you always receive hundred hundred thousand from your father so every time you are saying the wisdom of god you say yes but what you are mean is the money is coming and then your father says well um i had a dream and i didn't see myself giving you money for five months so what are you saying say exactly that um a voice spoke to me and that's the voice that has been speaking to me that i got rich that you are benefiting from the same voice said i should leave you alone you may insult and get angry but after two weeks you sit down and in your anger you frown you frown you frown and then you just open a scripture anyhow lord help me and then you just see takes you to the story of the widow in zarephath what did she do you have been reading it because your stomach is full now you read it with your stomach empty then child thy light break forth and you see something you never saw ah god commanded a woman but she was not aware she was commanded but the bible says god already commanded her could it could it be that there was something she was not receiving because god told elijah i've commanded her whether she, the the message arrived to her or not is another thing but me i've commanded her but when elijah arrived it didn't look like she was aware i expect her to say oh you are the one you're welcome come in i mean the loaf is there the man said i'm about to die she would have died not hearing the command or seeing the prophet the same way god will say i've answered this person and you look at the person's life and the answer is not yet there i meditate a lot creation happens in my life through meditation i have explored the power of imagination this is not some zodiac scientology metaphysical thing this is a principle listen to the advice that god gave joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 let's attempt to round up he said this book of the law please give it to us shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shall meditate 
I thought I was, do you know, I literally was seeing it. <laughs> Truly speaking, <laughs> you guys are delaying. Okay, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. Listen, but thou shalt meditate therein. Meditate therein, not meditate any other place. You don't meditate on what you want. You meditate on the word of God. Not just look at a newspaper and say, hi, again. Boko Haram. And you are looking. And you are thinking about a solution for your church. It won't come that way. Are we together? Thou shalt meditate there in day and night. When you meditate, an information will come from it. Then you observe to do. And then your way becomes prosperous. You don't act first. You sit down and allow the creative force of God's wisdom come to your life. Lord, my wedding is five months. All we have is 100,000. The budget is 2.5. There's got to be a way out. Not, hi, God, you sent me. Mm, Jesus, talk to me. My spirit is open. I silence every voice of fear. Silence them first. I silence every wicked voice. That wants to make God look unfaithful in my life. Lord you are faithful. And you are sitting down. And the spirit of wisdom begins to move. The spirit of wisdom can tell you to do anything. It can just say call one person. And you call the person. And he says I'm going to do a transfer. You will think it's 100,000. You will see 3 million. And God says now it has come. Go and marry your wife. And other people will see you and say you that I know. Abba, my brother, and you, you will quietly go back and give God glory. Ah, God, wisdom has covered for me. That's why you see some people whose testimony should be like your own, based on the physical parameters you see, but their testimonies are a thousand times greater than yours. Wisdom bail them out. Someone needs to receive this wisdom tonight because the depending on men forever let god send them remember i told you all blessings come from god through men to you but when you begin to depend on men depending on men is addictive it's addictive those men can even be your father and your mother many of us who have all this right conscious mentality my father you are the one that gave back to me you are 40 years you are still saying it and God may not cause what is happening in your family, but you will see it as a ready tool and push you out. And then you sit down. And then you worry and call it meditation. And God says, no. Worrying, I've stopped you from doing that. But you sit down and you meditate. Let me admit to you that you will not meditate one night and get the solution. No. I wish it were so. Sometimes it can happen. But that's just God's mercy helping you to encourage you so that the day that it doesn't come with the speed you want you will know god has been faithful and you will stay there are people who stay for weeks weeks turn to months every multi-millionaire knows this thing i'm telling you that their result is not just based on what they do but based on the reality that has been altered in their minds and their perceptions it is true way before god blessed this ministry with these crowds i had captured it it's there do you believe what I've taught you tonight? My, my prayer for you is not just that you finish a service today and say, wow, nice. <clears throat> but that you go and sit down and say, Lord, I know I'm a prayer warrior, but there is no time in silence to sit quietly. Wake up in the night and think, Lord, what is the next key? What is the next step? There are bills before me what is the next step this is the dimension we must step into as a ministry there has to be a way out don't say there is no way don't join satan saying there is no way is calling god a liar you open scripture no there is a way ah. light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. 
Like a candle, light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle, light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light my light. have taught you is the secret for the hand of God upon your life financially you will sit down and do business after business and business after business and be shocked that the result will be the same because out of the abundance of the heart what have you incubated in your spirit and your mind it's not about doing things you tell people these things they never listen because most people think men of God know nothing about finances and people run around looking for all kinds of give me money let me do this and God says one thing is needful settle down first apostle what do you think I can do to prosper sit down no I, my, blood, my blood is hot calm down and one the breath of the spirit will just light that bulb and you stand up circumspectly and with little effort the lord will create a wonder out of your life hear what i'm saying write the challenges let me give you an assignment go and write out all the challenges that you are trusting god for and sit with a clean sheet of paper and your bible and worship and just keep looking at them let me teach you this in conclusion can i can i am i free to teach you look at me <laughs> Pray in tongues for one minute. Pray in tongues for one minute. Labaka sude bilahasiana kataboshi. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me teach you something. Jesus was teaching and he said the eye is the light of the body listen carefully please please listen the eye is the light of the body do you know what Jesus was saying I hope you know Jesus was not teaching a parable go and google the parables of Jesus you don't see that story as a parable he was giving something he was teaching a powerful principle that the eye these two objects you see in front of your face that there is a mystery seeing is only one of the functions and it's simply because that's all science told you there is a system of transporting realities to and from the realm of the spirit that only your eyes that's why God healed every blind person he saw there was no blind person that passed Jesus that was not healed there were other cripples that he left them but he was violent on blindness there is a relationship between your eyes and your destiny listen paul became blinded by the glory of god but god had to open his spiritual eyes to be seen first before the physical one opened do you know why your eye closes in the night when you sleep light me lord light my life light my destiny brothers and sisters there are secrets in this book when you find it your results are not just an issue of wish these eyes you see let me tell you what happens anything the eye makes contact with consistently the mind The mind, listen to me carefully. What your eyes makes contact with, it forces your mind to begin to think on that reality. Now watch this. It is not the thinking about it. It is an incubation that starts happening in the realm of the spirit. Now, the Holy Ghost knows the solution. Are we together now? You meditate not just by closing your eyes alone because sometimes you close the physical eyes but you are still seeing are we together now 
and so that's the reason why you pray well in the night because there are few distractions your eye is seeing but you just see black and white this color sometimes can create noise it is an enemy to meditation are we together go and close a room and sit quietly and play worship and see what happens to you where you are not seeing the speaker nepa took light and you are using your phone to worship and you pray they don't bring light because it's doing something to you this eye is a transmitter the same way you have a radio wave watch this not just your ears this eye the creation of a radio wave is in the similitude of the way god designed men to work that you lift an antenna and it starts receiving the before you the goal is to get that sound to your radio is that true but you lift up something that something is your eyes that when you begin to make contact with the word of god i don't mean reading it just looking open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things what did david know so you are making contact and all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen very soon your eyes will stop seeing you are looking but you are no longer seeing your mind is what takes over have you seen that happen that you are reading something and for hours you keep reading the same line you can't move forward that's because something more superior than your reading is distracting you in that case worrying the eyes then your ears these things are gates i'm showing you notice that you have a selection of songs in your phone or whatever you never sit down particularly to hear them but after hearing them five or six times you know the next song and you can sing along if they ask you to sing it on your own now you can't sing but once they play it you can follow it and sing these are systems the eyes is a very deep and dangerous mystery yes he told the man at get beautiful look at us use your eyes i'm about to talk to you i thought you said give me your ears he said look at us steadfastly and he looked at them and he said now you are seeing what was the requirement of elijah receiving from elijah not if you can hear me if you can was he not looking at him this is your bible i'm not reading an occult book this is your bible when jesus was le was levitating to heaven the bible says they kept looking at him their eyes stayed on him until the clouds received him and something happened to them could it be that the only thing you have been doing with your eyes is to just look around now that's why you don't remember the faces of blind people because you cannot see their eyes the 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 part that makes your face recognizable is your eyes thank you so much for watching i hope and believe that you've been blessed and transformed by just watching this video and as you watch don't forget to share the link and then also click on the notification bell so that you can get the